Hi. In this video, we will learn one more rule of differentiation. This is derivative of exponential functions with general base. We only know derivative of the natural exponential functions, so recall that uh, derivative of e to the power x is just e to the power x and derivative of e to the power u is u prime e to the power u now what about derivative of b to the power x general base well this is going to be b to the power x but you have to multiply it by ln b and d dx of b to the power u is going to be ln b u prime b to the power u. So uh, these are the rules, these are new rules, and uh, you need to add this one. These are the last differentiation rules for us for this course, derivative of the general exponential function okay let's try do some examples in here find derivatives of these guys okay f prime of x is going to be derivative of x squared plus derivative of 2 to the power x derivative of x squared is 2x derivative of 2 to the power x is not just 2 to the power x you have to multiply it by ln of base f prime of x for this one we have to apply the uh, product rule derivative of first one times second one plus the first one itself times the derivative of the second one and here now derivative of x is one derivative of two to the power x is two to the power x multiply it by ln of 2 this is 3 to the power x plus x plus 2 to the power x and derivative of 3 to the power x is 3 to the power x when multiply it by ln of 3 and that is the derivative of the whole function for this other one we have derivative of 4 to the power something so this will be a derivative of 4 to the power u it means that you have uh, u prime 4 to the power u and ln of base you have to multiply so this is 2 the derivative of 2 is 0 negative t the derivative is negative 1 so this was going to be negative 1 so we have negative ln of 4 4 to the power 2 minus t what did happen that to that t okay this is better t this other one so g prime h prime of x here is this is derivative of 5 to the power of function so we have uh, the derivative of that function 5 to the power of the function and then multiply it by ln of 5 this gives us ln of 5 Derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of negative 3x is negative 3 plus 0. Uh, derivative of four, uh, 2 is 0. And this is what we have. While g of x, the derivative is derivative of ln of something here. Yes. Derivative of ln of something is derivative of that thing over the function itself. Here in the numerator, derivative of minus x is negative 1. 
derivative of 3 to the power x is 3 to the power x ln of 3 and the denominator is just that one okay let's do another example find the equation for the tangent line to the function this at zero first we know that the we need a point in this case it is going to be one and f at one one and two to the power three minus one plus one squared minus two times one this is one this is four plus one five minus two is three so that's the point the slope, on the other hand, for the tangent line is f prime at uh, that point. So we have to find f prime and then uh, plug in um, 1. So f prime of x is 2 to the power 3x minus 1 prime plus x squared prime minus 2x prime. And this is, so the first one is, 2 to the power 2 to the power some function so it will be the derivative of that function u prime 2 to the power u and then ln of base don't forget to multiply ln of base plus 2x minus 2 and while well, derivative of 3x minus 1 is just 3 ln 2, 2 to the power 3x minus 1, and plus 2x minus 2. That is f prime. Now, f prime at 1 is the slope, so we have 3 ln of 2, 2 to the power 3 times 1 minus 1, plus 2 times 1 minus 2. You see, these two cancel. This is 2 to the power 2, which is 4. 4 times 3 is 12 ln 2. So the slope is 12 ln uh, 2. And an equation will be uh, this guy. Y minus 3 equals to 12 ln 2 times x minus this is y equals to 12 ln 2x minus 12 ln 2. And I take this negative 3 to the other side plus 3. So that is the equation. Note that this ln 2, these are constant numbers. We don't know the values, but those are the constant numbers. Let's do one more thing here. Implicit differentiation. The equation is given. We have to find the derivative uh, of y with respect to x. Always remember that in these cases, you start differentiating with respect to x. So this will give us differentiate both sides with respect to x. So this is 2 to the power some number. So the derivative is going to be uh, ln of 2 times derivative of x times y times 2 to the power xy. Derivative of x plus 1 is 1 plus 0. Now, here. Derivative of x times y is derivative of x times derivative of x which is 1 times y plus x itself times the derivative of the second this is product rule yes 2 to the power x y equals to 1 now we have an equation for dy dx so let's just solve it so first thing is take this down there or oh, actually there there's this piece also so we have to multiply all of them there y plus x dy dx is equal 1 over ln 2 2 to the power xy and then x dy dx is 1 over ln 2 2 to the power xy minus y 
and then dy dx is you divide the x to the other side yes so it will be one over ln of two two to the power x y minus y so that's the derivative so the whole message is that you have to know these new differentiation rules these new differentiation rules and then use it uh, in all the situations that uh, we um, may have for the differentiation of different functions.